you've ever wondered what happens when somebody is shot with a 50 cal, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, guys. Like and comment. The comment section is out of control. I can't control you guys. YouTube has tried. They'll probably kick me off YouTube soon. Make sure you get into that comment section. Ladies and gentlemen, the biggest sponsor of this channel, Brown Owls. After narrowly escaping the last siege of the Ron Jeremies, Grantham finds himself lost in a desolate dunescape. The Time Warrior, sensing a disturbance in the multiverse, accesses his event and siege time machine. Arriving just before all his accounts were depleted, the Time Warrior provides aid in the form of the Eternal Coinage. Aker Gold. Ladies and gentlemen, may often for not, but most certainly not by me, armor piercing incendiary rounds. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about a very interesting topic, and that is 50 cal versus human head. But before we can start, we have to bring on our guest star. So we have our esteemed colleague, not doctor, Kentucky Ballistic, sir. Thank you for coming on the channel. What is your scientific experience? A lot. There we have you. Thank you for coming on the channel. We are looking forward to your uh, extensive knowledge on 50 caliber weapons. And of course, <laughs> I've got a little bit of experience with the 50 caliber. Oh, I didn't even hit you. So <laughs> next up, we of course have a not esteemed at all science person. Oh, what is your science experience, sir? I went to college for a really long time and I don't use my degree much anymore. Perfect. That counts for about all of this. So we, of course, have Matt from Demolition Ranch. Thank you for coming on the channel. And, uh, you know, the question is, is we're going to be shooting a human head with a 50 caliber rifle. Oh, what not Scott. No, 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 oh. not Scott. He's already been shot once. We oh. don't want to do that. So the question is, what is going to happen? <clears throat> uh, well... There's going to be a lot of blood. Okay. <laughs> so much blood. So much blood. So much blood. You may need a thumb. And, Ooh. Uh, possibly. That's a good point. So we're going to be doing a couple different, uh, you know, checks today. We're going to be doing a just normal shot on a human head. See what happens. About just, seven yards. Just a normal shot. Yeah, just a normal, normal shot. shot. No big deal. We'll be doing a close shot. What happens if a 50 cal passes very close? Hopefully we don't just shoot it anyhow. And if that, you know, fails, then we'll just go ahead and point blank that guy. And then we'll allow you to finish it up with something special. Cool. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. So, what we'll start with right here is you guys know we have tested shotgun rounds against human heads. They're great, right? Very violent. However, we now have the 50 cal. Will it be more violent? Yes. I'm pretty sure this video is not getting monetized. No. Absolutely in zero way this will be monetized. Love it. Let's go set up. Like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. Let's go set up ahead. Let's uh let's get this going. What were you telling me? Huh? What? You want to punch it? I kind of want to punch one, just to see okay, what that I'm, feels like. I'm gonna like. brace it. I'm afraid it would hurt my Probably hand. Doesn't want like you right to brace here, it. like. Yeah, yeah, go for it. That hurt. Yeah, that hurt my knuckle <laughs> good. He's fine. He's all right. He's, he's didn't he's break fine. that jaw. Yeah. I mean, I guess we can. It's not realistic. Can, yeah, it's not. This isn't a realistic. Because <laughs> clearly, you would have broken his jaw with that. Head. <laughs> I about broke my hand on it. That's stout, dude. That's crazy. I've never seen these. Have in you person. shot these human heads before? No, I've no. never have. You never have? Never no. have. I'm actually pretty pumped about it just to see it. <laughs> okay, so to be clear, let's let's come in on this head right here. Um, they are filled with uh, these sacks that uh, pretty accurately depict what a brain will do under pressure. So you have both the brain sacks, and then of course this is a really good analog for human tissue. So it's pretty accurate. It's pretty good in the thickness of the yeah and you got the nose of course I mean the thickness of the skull is pretty much there so it's it's pretty damn good Matt you're gonna have to shoot it first <laughs> you, have to, you have to pop your cherry on this let's do it <laughs> predictions it's gonna explode 
I think it's I think it's going to zip through it, and we're not going to have as much of an explosion as we think. Honestly, I think he's going to be fine. He's going to bounce off his skull. Yeah, he's probably going to bounce off his skull. Okay. It's just too fast. You ready? I'm on you, man. Okay. Uh, what should I aim for? Uh, get like right between the eyes. Okay, firing. Oh! Hey, my gosh! Is he okay? He's fine. He's not. See, he he left. Dude, he ran away. Okay, I was completely wrong. Yeah, that was wild. What? You've never shot one of these with a 50 cal. No, no, we've never, no, we never no. shot one of the 50 cal. Dude, your GoPro Can got we... blown away. Blood all over the GoPro. Dude. We, uh, where'd it go? Holy where'd it smokes. go? Oh, I got a piece right here. Yeah, that's yeah, here's, here's, here's the biggest matter. chunk. Okay, yeah, you want to bring it over? Sure. Uh, we'll determine the cause of death. Uh, oh, this table. Oh my God. That's not good. So I don't know where to put my thumb. Where's the skull? Where did the skull oh, go? Oh, that's what that There's white stuff oh, is. Hold on. It's oh, everywhere. the skull's Look. in a million oh, pieces. There we go. Hey, big piece all the way over here. I found a piece of the vertebrae. Yeah, it's real bone. Oh, that is a vertebrae. That's crazy. That's, I mean, I don't know what we really expected. <laughs> it, is a, it is a 50 cal, but this, uh, I didn't expect. Dude, there's a condom in here. Yeah, that's a condom. Don't, don't think about I it too hard. I legit thought that it would be moving. To, I, I've shot ballistic gel with is 50 condom. before. Yeah, it's used. It's okay. <laughs> I shot ballistic gel with 50 before, and it, it took like 10 inches into the block before it really started doing damage. Yeah. So I was like, uh, I bet you it's gonna zip right through, maybe blow the back out, but I didn't expect that. You know what really changes everything? Where's his teeth? Honestly, I, I see a gel. Oh, oh, go get it. Yep, found some feet. Dude, there, there is literally, there's just chunks everywhere. So here's what really changes things is fluid. Yeah. I, think, I think the fluid really yeah. changes it. Like ballistics gel, it's like whatever, but you add fluid into there and that fluid can't. And it's freaking contained. Yeah, it's contained, like a brain. Yep. And uh, you know, I just really did not expect it to be that <laughs> energetic. <laughs> that was pretty wild. Uh, as a man of science, Oh, me? As a man of science. I mean, is this guy dead? I'm gonna pronounce him very dead. All right, we got a first one dead. Okay, here's- I can't definitively say it without a stethoscope, but I think probably dead. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Here's a question though. Close, like really close. Who's doing that? That's gonna be Matt, because he just took the shot and he's got that zero down. I'm gonna hit him right in the ear, all right? I wonder. I'll, like if we had like a small ear contact shot him. Yeah. with a small contact right at the oh, ear. You mean like a near miss? Yeah, like oh, like we okay. get like you know, it takes off a little skin. Like, is that enough like energy to just so I'd say shoot him in the ear. You seen that video where they the guy kills a deer by shooting a bullet right past it? Yeah. It's fake. I know that, it. That's the, it's fake. That's no. the video I explained on the way here. It's fake? It's fake. Who faked it? Probably the guy who made it. I don't know. I don't like this. this He's a faker, me. he's a liar, and we're calling him out right now. This is bullshit. And we're gonna prove it. Yeah, we're gonna right prove it right now. now. So angry right now. Hey, wait, we need that. We actually need that table. Oh, oh God. There's a deer over here. I'm just gonna shoot it in the ear and see if its head explodes. Okay, yeah, load the 50. Hurry, give me the 50, come back. <laughs> There's another one. All right, we'll just shoot the dummy. Okay. Oh man, that ear's tiny. <laughs> Better zoom in. Okay. It's way oh too god, this is gonna blow up. No, ready? Firing. Did I hit the ear? That's the question. No, I think you did. I think you did. You pierced your ear. No, you did. That's pretty definitive. <laughs> Look <laughs> at You totally gauged out his ear. That. That is pretty definitive. That's exactly what I was trying to do is give him a nice gauge there. And no damage. 
Just the ear, take it off. That's about as near miss as it gets. So yep. there's actually a lot of rumors about people like, I saw a guy in Afghanistan and we shot, missed him by three feet, but ripped his arms off. Like people talk about that kind of stuff. Clearly fake, clearly fake. That did not happen because this guy literally took one straight in the ear. That's incredible. Like I would have thought it would have transferred like a little bit more energy into yeah. it. Like you, science boys, if you think about it, bullets are specifically made to not create shockwaves. They want to fly as smoothly through the air as possible. And so it's, it's like designed to do that. That's why you got your degree. I, I get it now. That makes so much more sense. So the question is, what about a cheek hit? Cheekbone. Yeah, I, I think it could bust his skull. It's gonna transfer a lot of energy. I'm really interested to find out, to be honest. There's only one way to know. There's only one way to know. All right, here we go. <laughs> There's your oh, answer. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> so um, did you hit the tree? <laughs> Yeah, I got the cheek. Okay, <laughs> hold on. Okay, hold on. Hold on. First off, no one tell you I hit the cheek. This is a crime scene. Because this is his brain. It's still intact. That his brain is intact. That is true. Dude. It did not go through his brain. That, Dude, it exploded his skull. That is he's fine. Look, we put the brain somewhere else. We did not have this big of a skull piece with the first guy. Wow. Which means you didn't hit that skull directly. Yeah. Look look at that. We can like we can start piecing this so back that's, together. Yeah, Dude. You went in right here probably. Oh my that gosh. It's perfect. Dude. So you winged him and it still exploded his face. <laughs> that didn't just explode his face. That removed his brain entirely and placed it upon the floor. So but you get nicked in the immediately. <laughs> Cuz I want to point out like look at that. Like he landed there's no not really a whole lot of dirt on it. Do you want to Does anybody want to take a bite out of it or anything or I kind of want to step on do it. Do you have a knife? Yeah, do you have a knife? I do have a knife. Really? Let's see it. It's going to be gross. Oh, yeah. Safety first. Actually, I don't know if I want to stick my knife in <laughs> You already said you have a knife. You can step on it if you want. Oh, that's a very nice knife. You can step on it if you want. I want to poke oh, it. What does it feel like? Ooh, that's... Does it feel like normal brains that you've stabbed? Yeah. No. Step on it. Step on the brain. <laughs> just like crush it. You know, just put him out of his misery. <laughs> the brain. Oh god. <laughs> okay, so near uh, near hit or you know, kind of a grazing hit, certainly enough to kill somebody. What's crazy is you get hit in the ear, nothing. Just moved over just a little bit. Your just whole head explodes. Put bit. that whole bullet inside the tissue and. Yeah, just that's a teeny it. little bit, and we get pieces of vertebrae everywhere. That is like, insane. There is a. It goes from zero to approximately ten thousand in about a centimeter. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The question is: We've shot two human heads. What is going? Hey guys, to be I next? brought my Serbu. Oh, hey, big fella! I don't. We're not doing that today. I'll we're take care of this. Well, what you about a leave. different kind of fifty cal? Okay. What? Five hundred magnum. That's... <laughs> Would you have ammunition for that? I actually brought something special for this test. I'm ready. Holy crap. Got one right here. It's called a vaporizer. It's a 425 grain hollow point. What and, does it do? Uh, really curious to see what that's gonna do. I wanna see you do this a point blank. One hand. One handed. Bet. Let's do this. Point blank. Point blank. Predictions. We're gonna have to call the insurance company today. It's gonna be all over you. It's gonna be, I think it's gonna be bad. Keep your mouth closed. <laughs> I would say keep it open, to be honest. <laughs> it's watermelon time for real. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> that was more than I expected. Yo. Bro. Look at the gun! That, that gun was just cleaned. Dude, that's incredibly violent. Yeah. If you drive home with that in your car, you're for sure going to jail <laughs> if you get pulled over. This stuff smells really bad. It smells really bad. It smells really bad. I can't, I can't even see where. Oh, that's no. it right there. Oh. <laughs> Straight up canoed it. Took everything <laughs> off the top. Yeah, he did.
Wow. He looks fine. Okay, so vaporizer round, extremely effective. Yeah, wow. that vaporizer Wait. round was, um, I think, even compared to a shotgun, like buckshot, that was still like incredibly, yeah, incredibly violent. That was pretty wild. You, I was not expecting that at all. Yeah, I think this if there's table. one- <laughs> Look at the table. Yeah, I think if there's one thing that we can say about shooting head analogs, it's that no matter what round you use, it's uh, the head's really not a great place to get shot. <laughs> it's pretty violent. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That was, I think, uh, okay, what was the worst one, you think? I, the 50, for sure, I think was the worst. That's, that's second place. Yeah, this is 100%. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I like how we're like, which was the worst direct <laughs> shot to the head? <laughs> which one would we least want to happen? You know, I don't really know what we expected, but um, it was certainly something that was really close to what we just saw here today. Yeah. And the point is, is that these rounds are very effective. These guns are effective. Yeah. But these weapons are tools. You are the weapon, so make sure that you get out there and you get training. Tons of great places to get training from, whether it be Haley Strategic, Bear Solutions, Cogworks. Make sure you get out there. You make yourself the weapon. And as always, we appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. We got nothing else for you today. Final thing for us today. We're gonna be having Scott giving us dad advice for today. Scott, give my people some dad advice. 50 cows are violent. Thank you for watching. <laughs> You had blood dripping down your face. <laughs> <laughs>